Hello, this is my personal introduction, Module 1. My name is Teresita Reyes. I live in Dodge City, Kansas. I am originally from Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico. I am married to Sergio and have two lovely daughters, Victoria and Valeria. I work at, as a newcomer ELA teacher in Dodge City Middle School. In Mexico, I used to teach English as a second language, and when I moved to Dodge City, I immediately saw the need for ESL teachers. That is why I decided to go back to school and earn my teaching license. I started working with newcomers in elementary and moved to middle school where I've been for the past two years. Newcomers are the students that are new to the country and have limited English. For our reflection, the three types of mindsets are all students can learn and grow, social capital and teamwork will always outperform individual talent. Happiness is a choice. I agree with the research. I know that all students can learn. We just need to give them what they need to be successful. Teamwork is always better than working by yourself. And happiness is a choice. I really like the quote that they had there in the book. Happiness is not the belief that we don't need to change. It is the realization that we can. Happiness and optimism are the precursors to success, not merely the result. Sean Anchor. The five dispositions. They are deep in our DNA. DNA. With enough practice and coaching, positive dispositions can be developed and refined. Those dispositions are confidence, risk taker, and decisive sense of humor, empathetical assertive, and learner. I agree that every leader should have all these uh, dispositions. Practices. Focus and prioritizing, examining feedback and data, and emo emotional intelligence. I agree that all these are needed for a good leadership. I used to work in a school where I didn't feel valued and I was always stressed and nervous and right now in the school that I'm working at we work on all these and uh, the difference it's enormous. It's a really good place to be. The principles, there are eight principles, personal courage, public interest against, uh, ahead of self, self-control, self-discipline and integrity, task and employee search centeredness, uh, recognizing talent, require, requiring high ethics from everyone, sensitive and understanding, inclusiveness. I agree with all these ethical principles. I grew up with very good role models that show me all of this and I, I, I really appreciate it. My personal and professional critique. Mindsets. I am a truly believer that all students can learn and grow. They all do at a different play, pace and excel in different areas. They just need encouragement and support. Teamwork is something that I am developing because I am not used to ask for help. The school where I am working promotes it very much and I have seen firsthand the benefits. Happiness and optimism create success. Dispositions. I was so relieved to read that they can be developed and, re and refined because I really need coaching on these traits. Practices. I am very good on focusing, but prioritizing is not my best quality. I want to do much and I need to... Uh, I want to do too much and I sometimes miss the most important goals. Data is one of my best friends since I started working with newcomers. I check it constantly to make changes in my teaching to better serve my students. The ethical leadership. My father was a great ethical le leader, so I had a very good teacher. He taught us how to be disciplined, have self-control, put others instead interest ahead of our own, and most of the traits that the leader should have. In my school, I have the chance to demonstrate sensitivity, understanding, and inclusiveness every day. 
the standard correlation. With the assignment I reflected on norms that support the educational success, I made it made me aware of the mindset, disposition, practices, and principles needed to be a good leader. The most relevant part of this assignment for me is how crucial ethical and moral values are in a leadership position and made me think on how I can promote them in my daily activities, especially in my school where I'm a role model for the new generations. My reflection. The content of this assignment helped me better understand the characteristics and skills needed to be a leader in a leadership position. I also helped me realize that we all are leaders for someone and we need to be good role models. Okay, thank you. See you in our next video. Bye.